Yo, Raptorians, welcome aboard. Good to see you all back for Tropico. All right. I thought we'd give another try to building an island nation and or superpower, as this game's got some recent DLC, but we'll be playing a sandbox starting fresh and new uh, in single player today. Going to build a new uh, island, but uh, we're going to build an, on one of the old islands that we tried to do last time. Last time we, uh, well, soil fertility and farming was really... Uh, was really challenging and so uh, we kind of died to death and I didn't realize how difficult or challenging Tropico is compared to where I thought it is. It's not really a hard game but it all depends on how you set your settings, you know what I mean? You make the game as easy or as hard as you want and focus on different things. Of course you can do tourism, military, you can go on raids and steal from other nations and stuff like that. Oh and look, a shark, the bear of the sea. You see it down there? Anyway, welcome aboard. Thanks for becoming members. Thanks for all the member bombs this week. Happy weekend to all you guys. Thank you very much for subscribing and hanging out, joining the Discord, and being awesome. I did want to note, by the way, tomorrow I was going to play um, Oregon Trail, but I forgot that this week I talked about Uthras, or two Uthras, about playing Open TTD today. But I had forgotten. But we're going to do it tomorrow instead. Open TTD is a free game that you can get on Steam, so I'd love for you guys to join in a quote-unquote city builder as well. It's more of a transport game, but of course you can build cities by transporting stuff around. But Tropico 6 has a lot to do with transporting too, with all the Teamsters and roads and such to build as well. So we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to go nice and slow because we don't want to make any mistakes and uh, die to death. So we're going to do the best that we can. So one's in the chat for the number one community out there. One's in the chat if you're watching live. One's in the chat if you're happy it's the weekend. One's in the chat if you love pizza. One's in the chat if you hit the like button. One's in the chat for Raptoria. And one's in the chat for Tropico 6. Let's go ahead and start ourselves a new island. We're going to go back to that other island that we did yes, uh, last time, though, because I really liked it. It was called, like, Rio, I think it was. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I think we're playing with all the DLCs on except for the Festival one. Uh, which was the one before the most recent one, which is um, New Frontiers, I believe. So, let's see, where is it? Uh, let's do sandbox maps. Uh, let's see, I remember what it looks like a little bit. Mm, I know it's an island, and the water around it is blue. Let's see if I can remember. Uh, it also had a volcano on it. Um, I think it was a medium-sized map. Is there a way to sort? I think we'll just have to go through them all. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Rio. That's the one we want. Perfect. All right, we're going to start in the Colonia era. We're going to just start with, I guess, all the moderate settings or whatever. Like the standard settings. So let's go with that. Oh, configure downloadable content. Oh yeah, so there, there's all the DLC. El Prez, Llama of Wall Street, Spitter, uh, Labistico, Caribbean Skies, and New Frontiers. The only one that I don't have is like the festival one, which I'd like to get. I just kind of was busy to, too busy to buy it at the time. Whatever. I should have bought it on Steam sale, actually. Is this on Game Pass? I don't know, actually. Anybody want to take a quick peek at Game Pass? I don't think so, but it could be. All right, chat, let's make a good island nation. Welcome, everybody, to Rio. Or more like Raptoria. I love that volcano. This is a beautiful map. All right, so we're going to start what we normally would start with is uh, with rum. But we want to make sure we do the soil fertility right. And we got to kind of not give everybody homes because that costs money. And money is what we need. So our people are going to have to stay poor, unfortunately. Such a beautiful game. I agree. All right, let's lay out these roads a little bit. Roads. Well, we're going to need roads. I also kind of want to go for, like, I want to try to be good to our people over time, and I also want to try to do, like, tourism and make it a nice, beautiful place. How long have I been a YouTuber for? Well, the channel is uh, almost 18 years old. In 2023, at the end of this year, it'll turn 18. Let's make sure we make this road nice and straight. Uh, maybe about here. Cool. All right. I want to do all of our farming over here. Yeah, I know it's almost old enough to vote and get a car. 
I'm gonna have the channel move out and be on its own now. It's time it learns. Oh good, a lot of soil fertility here. For sugar. I'm gonna try to not wreck as many trees. Let's go with a couple plantations here, okay. And then one uh, distillery, eventually. All right, let's start. It begins! Yeah, rum distillery, yeah. Uh, let's let them build two things at a time. Build that road there. Alright, so the uh, construction office is going to work on those, and then we're probably going to need more Teamsters eventually. Too many slums? We just started! We Literally, it's like our first day. But without slum, if we start building nice stuff, then it costs us money. Also, you guys remember last time we played? It was just like we got attacked by pirates every t like ten minutes. It was crazy how often we were attacked by pirates. Uh, we also need to do cattle farms and start doing manure. We need to keep those numbers up. Let's do a manure spreader here. So I'll build a little further north, and we might build one more plantation in the future. Ah, it only needs to touch the building, not the fields. Okay. All right, let's do some cattle farms. Ah, nice. Alright, two cattle farms, two sugar plantations, so we should have meat and milk coming in for our wonderful Raptorians. That's you guys! Cool. If I make El Presidente look like a pirate, do you think the pirates will stop attacking? That is a that is a very good question. That is a valid, very, very good question. Boat's here. I think there's an achievement for being uh, president or whatever, governor of the island for like 30 years. It's pretty cool. You went through the tutorial last night after you got Tropico 6 because you played it a couple of days ago. It was long, but I guess it was worth it. Looking forward to trying the campaign. Good, I see truth. Yeah, the, luckily the campaign missions are pretty easy and are a good tutorial as well. Because some of the early basic missions teach you a lot too. So the learning never ends. Which is good. All right, cool. So now we're making manure. How long was my longest run in this game? I think I did a run when the game first came out in Sandbox without any of the DLCs. And I I know we built a really cool island uh, that lasted a long time. And I know we got to, like, the modern times, but I can't really remember what else happened. Excuse me, Earlsport. I need a teensy tiny favor. You want me to build more plantations? Okay. Let's try to diversify a little bit. Corn is really resilient. But the crown wants us to do it, so we gotta kinda obey.
Hmm. Well, we'll build those for now. Alright, now the crown wants us to build more. Always more. Oh, yeah. The people have a request, but for safety reasons, it is a secret request. You want me to build a library? Alright, we'll do that sometime, ma'am. Sometime we'll build a library. All right, we got a bunch of corn at the docks, okay. <laughs> we'll do us some book learning, that's right. Good old-fashioned book learning. Also, I like how uh, in this game there's like kind of three eras, right? Isn't there like, isn't it like colonial, modern, or colonial World War II and then, no, it's, yeah, World Wars and then Cold War or modern, oh, maybe it's four, but anyway. I like how all the cranes and stuff will change over time. That's kind of cool that way. I think there's four. Yeah, yeah. Colonial, World Wars, Cold War, and then Modern. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we gotta build a rum distillery now. I think I want to build industrial out here. Well, you did the right thing, which is whatever the crown says it is. Cream tea? Thank you, sir. Do I think it's possible to build a gaming rig including vacuum tubes? I mean, probably. For the amount of time, money, and resources, you'd have to have like a small state. You'd have to build like an island or something to store all that stuff. How do I demolish? Oh, there. There we go. Alright, so we want a rum distillery now. We'll start with Juan. Bum, 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 bum. Did I use the political building where you assign ministers like it adds bonuses and strengths to certain economical areas? Um, I only got to the World War era last time, so I'm not sure either A, if we didn't have that researched, or B, if it, wasn't, if it just wasn't available. I can't recall. Also, if we're doing uh, animals, we should do a tannery as well so we can sell leather. So let's do a tannery. Build that there. Yo, Anthony, thanks for the seven months as a Raptor Egg. Let's get some membership milestones going. If you guys have been a member for 30 days or more, make sure you uh, click that C Perks and or whatever button it is down below. Um, the hands one or whatever. And send your milestone. You can ask a question, spam emotes, whatever you'd like. We'd love to see it. Yeah, Tropico's got great music. Dude, uh, listen... They could make ten more Tropicos in my lifetime, and I will I will buy and play them all. It's just a winning formula. Build an island fortress, build an island, like, vacation paradise. Uh, 
uh, military, Never. farming. It's like a city builder, but a nation builder. Like, you can do national level stuff, but also city level stuff. It's really cool. Bum, bum, bum. Do I have a favorite between 1 and 6? I want to go back and play 5. I don't remember anything about it. I loved 1. That was awesome. Changed my mind about like all sorts of city builder stuff. Introduced me to a lot. It was much more challenging. Because we were dealing with resources rather than just building a pretty city with taxes, you know. So that was amazing. How's unemployment? I think we need more people. Unemployed is 65, okay. That's actually not that bad. Can I use the volcano as a power resource? There actually might be geothermal in this game, I'm not sure. That's pretty cool though. Alright, we're gonna need some more Teamsters offices soon. That's one of the drawbacks in this game, too, is that... Not drawbacks, but one of the most important things to remember is that you got to build a lot of those Teamsters offices, too. So I'm going to build two right there as well. <clears throat> At last, I got Plague Tale Requiem on sale for PlayStation 5. Ah, good dude. Enjoy. Enjoy. First thing I do when I can't afford, when I can't afford it, second Teamsters office right away. Yeah. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? Choices like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor. That office is important. All right, let's export rum. And we've started to make rum. And now we're going to use less sugar. I regret to report that some foul blight has blown in on our otherwise fair winds. Oh, but do not worry. It is not your relatives. Crop conditions are reduced by 40%. Oh, man. Four has your favorite soundtrack? That's a good one. I can I can remember some of the music, I just don't remember which one's which. making a lot of corn, too. A lot of rum going out. That's good. I know there's some mining opportunities in the upper left corner. Sixty-seven unemployed. Okay. That'll go down when those buildings are done. that tannery. Huh. 
Hides in, leather out. Okay. Uh, did all of our construction like stop? Rum and corn, good. Bum 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 bum. I must say I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult these days. Extend the mandate. When will we play the Cave Age game? Uh, so schedule's down below in the description, as always, at the bottom of every video and every live stream. Exclamation point schedule in the chat. Infection-free zone looks neat. When is 1.0 released? Do you know? Uh, on the Steam store page, it says after the apocalypse, so I guess it's currently still in development. Could be any time, though. Who knows? But when I know, you'll know. We'll make another video for that one. Sometime soon. 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 I hope. Set those two to pasture so we can get more manure going. Everything else completed construction, good. Yeah, we want everything on the docks. All right, let's take a look at the 39. Okay, good. Population, free population is 39. Ugh, pirates again. Something does not feel quite right, Governor. I have a powerful desire to call you Presidente. All right, we got pirates. Let's build the towers because they take up a lot less space. They'll be easier to put in small spots of the city. Pirates all the time. I will right, we'll see what happens. I wonder when the blight is over. We're still making a lot of sugar, even though... We have that 40% decrease. I don't even see pirates. Excuse me, Earlsport. I need a teensy tiny favor. All right, let's go with more trade. Uh, we'll export corn. Or more rum. Well, that was easy. Well, you did the right thing, which is whatever the crown says it is. Sarah DeGroote, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome aboard. 
Thank you for hitting that joint button. Oh, they're always going for that rum. Maybe that's what triggered the pirates, is the rum. What can we do for farm upgrades? Eh. At least we got full groups working at the farm. Build some more taverns. I see we have two. Three. Do we need to feed the cows, or do they just eat from their own ranch? They might just eat from the pastures, maybe. We're on pasture prohibition, though, but I don't see any in. I only see out. <laughs> Drink the rum before they can steal it? I'm going to need chat's help with that. Oh, Blight has ended. Good. Alright, let's do a logging camp. Serge, thanks for upgrading to a Raptor Hatchling. Appreciate the big O upgrade, dude. Oh, we gotta do a lumber mill. So from logs to lumber. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for that extra support. Wow, thank you. Tropicos always look good. Yeah, I agree. these pirates they've been like trying to attack for 45 minutes this is, this is what happened the last time too the exact same thing what's up Aaron Brown I don't even think I can see a pirate ship at all more governor more, more. always more hop to it the crown demands. Bro, I just built a logging camp. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to have more logs than...
Yeah, the pirates have been attacking for like three years. They're the laziest pirates ever. Oh, they're finally here. Like, does that alert go off when they like enter the big map far away? I don't know. Whatever, we're more than ready for him. I must say I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult these days. Another 18 months, please. Bum, bum. The pirates are likely from chat. Oh, I see. Well, they're about to be dead to death. The pirates are like really slow. Look, our people are like lapping them. We got people moving and shaking across the map. Well, all right, here comes the shootout finally. You guys can shoot back. Pew pew. Get your guns, chat. They're coming. More logs are needed. Hell yeah, brother. But then as soon as the pirates are defeated, they come again. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? A choice is like... Is it import or export? Export, okay. We'll export rum. And we'll export logs. There we go. Alright, well, we should have some more money coming in shortly now. With those contracts. The attackers have been defeated, you know, for three days. Apparently the pirates are like the Borg. They just keep coming. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Population's going up. We almost have 200 people, so that's up 50 from our start. 
Sphere of Flying Cities is on sale? Good one, man. Hey, what's up, M750? Good to see you in the chat. Do we want more? How's the fertility doing? Still nice and fertile. Things are looking okay. Gonna build another rum distillery. I wonder if you get attacked for every time that you build a rum distillery in the colonial era. By pirates. You know, pirates and rum. You know, tee hee. Is there a casino you can play fruit slots in? Not yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, chat. Soon. What's up, T-Bone Games? Welcome. Thanks for watching the stream. Uh, what DLC do I recommend for Tropico 6? Um... I guess all of them for their camp... I really like the campaigns in this game, and they're really funny. And they're all very well done. And um, each of the campaigns also kind of add, like, new buildings and new industries. So I would say, like, all of them are good. Just kind of go through each of the DLCs and add ones that are more interesting to you. There's some that, like, give you farming stuff. There's some that, like, are more for tourism and have missions related to that. So... It, yeah, they're all good. It's just kind of like, get the ones you're in the mood for. It's like City Skylines, too. Like, some of them are better than others, but it's usually related to the buildings that you get with it. But in this game, it's all about the scenarios. But you get you get two things, you know. You get scenarios, and you get new stuff to build with, with those DLCs. The new one's great. Apparently, the newest one has, like, positive reviews, I think. There's the pirate. Oh, yep. Oh, that's exactly what happens. So when you finish a rum distillery, the pirates attack. Just a random building. Okay. But it takes them a million years to get here. So that's it. What a weird thing. That's just weird that it's like a guaranteed attack. Oh, don't we also want to do multiculture? Yeah, we do. Decreases efficiency by 40, but does not decrease fertility over time. And it gets efficiency... Okay. Yeah, we're growing other... We're growing corn nearby, so that's good. Perfect. So because we're growing corn nearby the sugar, it'll give it a bonus. Perfect. That actually is all good. That's good, like, sugar plantation. Oh, the pirates can smell the rum? Okay. It must, like, blow across the ocean and they can... It's like Sea of Thieves, you know? Like a level level 300 reaver coming in. And we're not really making much... Like, we're kind of like at the same amount of money we had, so we're breaking even. That's good. 
I want to make boats next. Can we make boats? Let's see what we got. We have one unemployed person. Okay. So we can't really build anything new. There won't be anybody to a operate it. So that's okay. We're exporting planks. Shouldn't the cattle ranch be making milk? I guess they don't. They just make the meat and the hides. If we want milk, we probably got to change like goats. What's up, John? Raptor in chat, do you think B12 is still alive and stray? Uh, who was B12? Was that like one of our robot friends? Was that the was that the guy you were with the whole time? I can't remember. But the answer is yes. Probably. Stray was cool, man. I can't wait for Stray 2. Great game. Game of the game of the decade, game of the century. Good. And the pirates take such a long time. Forty-four homeless. Let's do some more contracts. How many do we got going now? We're exporting logs and rum. Ooh, we could do coconut. Ah, but we don't have enough people for the industry. We gotta wait for the city to grow a little bit. I wonder if by providing nicer houses we can get the population up. Is there a way to see birth rate? We had 10 people born here and 11 people immigrate here. Three French people. Oh, we have 35 vacant jobs. Okay, so we need to wait for 35 more people to move in. Alright, so we got plenty of jobs. We just need like people to move t into town. We're having black tea with honey. Ooh. Very lit. Very dank. Oh, that's true. I can get the immigration office to get more people. Good call, chat. Immigration is... Uh, we can't get that till the world wars. Alright, we'd have to get that later. Sag. Money's going up, though. Alright, I'm willing to build one house. I know it's crazy, but... We be aight. We gotta give the construction office something to do. Paying them for nothing.
Boom, boom. Music's good. What's in my cup? Uh, the same Earl Grey I had earlier today. Well, not the same, but another, another cuppa. Yeah, that's true. The uh, the immigration office is good to turn up and down the rate of immigration. Because you don't want people moving into your island nation if you can't, like, properly care for them. We have 1,500 corn? My god. Alright, looks like we properly set up the farms this time. Do I drink it plain or with cream? I didn't have any cream at the moment, so it was just plain. Here comes the pirates, finally. They really should just get... <laughs> the pirates need to buy a car and just drive here. It's so long. It's like, what are you doing? Pirates. Yeah, or at least bicycles. All right, I'm excited to see. Oh man, we're gonna make we're gonna make twenty thousand from this boatload. Thank goodness we had so many teamsters. Super important. Baby. Alright, now we're making some money. Alright, I'll spoil my people. We can build another house. Yo, Gallon, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Uh, can I build a school yet to increase efficiency? Um, can't build that till the World Wars. We can build a library, but that has more to do with, like, research. We're okay now, though. We just need our population to keep going up. So I think so long as we keep building some houses and improving quality of life. Every so often that'll be alright. That'd be aight. Do the pirates pillage the houses? Now they'll just go, like the, um, this building here is the tannery. And so the little target that was above it means that they were going to attack that. But they have to go through our guards to get to those buildings. So we got them. Yeah, we Right now, we're like in the 1800s, so we can't really build anything nice yet. Like, everything's kind of just... People are just making do. I guess we could put down some decorations before things get too... Yeah, the peeps want some decor.
We have like an astronaut statue in 1850? Okay. I should have changed the variant to something else. Those aren't too expensive, are they? Oh no. They're super cheap. That one doesn't even have, like, cobblestone under it. Yeah, I thought it was a Space Odyssey reference, too. Sells edible goods to provide... Uh, f food to the household of visiting citizens sells consumer goods to increase happiness. Yeah, we should probably do a grocery store. The new Hogwarts Legacy Digital Deluxe Edition is so expensive, it's $70. Wow. What does it come with? Like, an actual tuition to Hogwarts? Ron Weasley's gonna pull up with the whip. Bro, that game better have a train in it. No, not a bear train. Do you think there'll be a magic magic bear in that game? A final bear boss battle? Our city's nice. Can we play Skirmish in Age of Empires 3 without ID? The hell, what? Are you asking if they're going to card you? <laughs> like somebody's gonna stop you at your computer? Ho ho ho, chief. I need to see proper ID. License and registration, gamer. Uh, I, I mean, I'm... I, you pro <sighs> Stun locked. Sub doozy. Alright, we're working on fulfilling trade routes. Oh, we're making good money. For once. I don't. This is weird. There's not. I don't like that. There's no cobblestone under that. There. I'm a pirated version of the game. Uh, no, you should... You should always buy things legally. And for Age of Empires 3, there's probably some pretty big discounts on that game, too. I don't even know where you would find it. 
But I couldn't imagine it being more than like... I don't know, 50 bucks for everything? Like, there's quite a few DLCs for that game. Alright, we're low on sugar. Oh, it's because we're low on workers. Everybody's too busy in their fancy dirt mansions to go work. You know, actually, these are these are nice. Those are actually nice houses. Uh, he said Age of Empires 3. That's an old game. 4 is the new one. Uh-oh. Um... All right, we need to reallocate labor. Let's shut down one of the logging camps. Oh, nice. Completed a trade. Well, you did the right thing, which is whatever the crown says it is. Put that building on pause. Age of Empires 3 is 20 bucks on Steam right now. There you go. And yeah, we need more people in this city. What's the upkeep on houses? Monthly income. Wait, we're actually making money from houses? Income lifetime 695. Well, I thought it was because we built too many houses last time. Alright, let's build houses. We, we actually make money on them. Didn't know that. I didn't know we could actually charge rent. We'll start with those three. Okay. More workers are needed. Let's shut down one of the distilleries. Until we got more people at those farms. Age of Empires 3 is on Game Pass as well? Okay. That's good. I like the Age of Empires 3. We played that on the channel. This little grocery store looks nice. Ah, uh, we make... Oh, look at that. We're selling corn, meat, and rum. And we make money from that, too. Good. Good. What's... Uh, hope... Oh, there's only 16 people homeless. Oh. These next couple of houses should get everybody a house. Let's build some here by, for the farmers. Free food and the child tax credit are great policies to help with homelessness. Well, I only had to build like two houses. Let's check the... Uh, t food for the people. Citizens... Consume two units of food when eating. Increase general food quality by 10. Decrease capitalist standing by 10. Wait, we have to worry about... Oh. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that too much now. Mandatory siesta. Hmm...
could also increase the wages at the farm a bit. It's going to be a lot of money. Wait, was that only 7k? It's nice to have choices, isn't it? A choice is like continu- uh, The crown wants a trade route. Let's do let- oh. Is it import or export? Oh, it's either import or export. Hmm. We could just do a little bit of sugar, but... Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, the pirates are always back, aren't they? Oh, we have six unemployed. Well, there's a job for you over there. Got plenty of jobs. Plenty of jobs. Homelessness 12. I'm not even seeing any shacks. Oh, here's some. You guys want to go live up there by the manure? Come on down here. Crazy conflict in Tropico right now, these pirate invasions. Damn pirates. No, we have a we have a military. They're shooting it out with them. Pirates aren't going to win. One thing you always do is to reduce housing funding to level 2. It reduces the quality a tiny bit but saves so much money. Oh, really? You were pretty bad at Tropico 4. You wonder if uh, it'll be bad in this one too, A Man Can Dream. Oh, don't worry about that. You, there's lots of settings to put it. It's all about having a good time. So if you got to like change some of the settings to make it easier, go for it. You should definitely not let difficulty stand in your way of playing.
Yeah, let's make sure everybody's got a house. All right, looks like the sugar plantations are going again. There goes the rum. It's being made again. Why is the rum always gone? I don't even know. No, I do. I drank it. Lol. Pirates are attacking even more. Hopefully that'll force them into a house. Like, we got homes for you guys. Come move in. that population up, brother. Well, I guess we could try to get out of the colonial era and just try to get that immigration office. Otherwise, we don't really have control over it. We could build factories and such, but nobody will be able to work there, which is okay. We could prepare for... I guess we could build this stuff now and then eventually get more people in the... Oh boy. At least we won't have to deal with pirates. Alright, I think we're going to build a library. Because otherwise, you know... It's going to be Pirate Stunlock. Stunlock. Unlock. Stun lock. Stun lock. There we go.
Alright, we're going to build the library, and then that should allow us to uh, hopefully get enough revolutionary support. And we'll be closer to the Cold War. And we'll be rid of these damn pirates. And get our population up. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. All right, let's get ten immigrants. Now the fort takes uh, people to work at it. We don't. We don't have population for that. It's 14,000 for that. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Sir Doom, what's up? Welcome to the Big O stream. Got him. Imagine that you're in the middle of a firefight and like the enemy builds a t like what is this Fortnite? All right, cool. Okay, we need to get the revolutionaries up to sixty. They'll ask us to do something else. And then we'll just do it. Grocery store is so nice. Is there anything else you can do to please the immigrants and inhabitants? A festival or defensive buildings? How, do, how does that work? Well, we need to build like an immigration office. Right now we're like a colony of Great Britain, essentially. And in order to have more control over our nation, we have to... It's like it's 1850. So, like... We can get in the next era, which is like the early 1900s, so you can go from there until like the mid-50s, then you go into the Cold War. So it's like it goes 1850 to 1900, then like 1900 to 1950. So arrived, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. 
Oh, it sounds like taxes. Have a pirate cove. We can do that. Alright, that should give us enough to get done with these damn pirates. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> these pirates are so annoying. Like, if I gotta hear angry salsa music one more time. I'm not sure if they'll be able to defend that corn farm or not. But honestly, if they destroy it, I don't even care. You'll be in the fifties. Revolution! Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. Yay! Alright, we need 60 revolutionaries to win the war. So, knowing that we're gonna have to fight a war, let's build some more guard towers. We could pay, but I think chat wants a fight. We'll build a couple more guard towers to finish it off. Got to get rid of these pie rats. We got to have pumpkin pie. Got to get that pumpkin. I know you guys want me to fight it out. I know. I know. We're going to be doing that. That's for damn sure. We're going to be fighting these pirates. And then uh, and then the Brits. Just need four more revolutionaries. And population went up, though.
Ba -bum -bum -bum. You know what we could do? We could try to build... If we, if we make a bunch more uh, plantations, if we put them all around the edges of the map, we could make, like, massive corn mazes to, d like, confuse the Brits. And when they try to invade, they'll just get lost in the corn maze. And that'll be it. They'll die to death. Black Demon with the 10. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Glory to Raptoria. Get those flags going. Let's go. Yeah, brother, yeah. Now that the Pirate Cove is done, we can actually have it go find more people. Oh. That was that. I accidentally, like, closed out of that quest before I had it. Is there a way to see uh, quests and accept them? I accidentally, like, right-clicked when that one popped up. Oh, here it is. Build a chapel. Alright, let's build the chapel for the revolutionaries. They're fighting near the grocery store. Bum, 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 bum. Good, now we get a little bit of time without the damn pirate music. Okay, so now we have 200 building the chapel. That should give us the revolution and then we'll be into the world wars. This makes you want to get chips and salsa. And just wait till we build a restaurant. Then you can all come our on down. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious. But with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. Okay, we got to prepare for a war soon. This makes you want to cook with Jesse and Walt. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. We got to go into the sepia tone to let you know it's in Mexico. It's the only way to tell. 
Does the music change depending on the era? It actually might. I'm also, like, streaming with, like, streamer safe music on, so there's a lot more music in this game, but we'll never hear it because, you know, corporations, which care about you. That's right. Oh, here comes the boat. Oh, pirates again? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, there's four eras in this game. Right now we're in the colonial era, then there's the World Wars era, then the Cold War, and then the modern times. And each of them, you know, give you more trade partners and different factions to align with. Oh good, the population is going up. Let's make some more rum. Damn, those distilleries are working. You were wondering when I was going to do another episode of World in Conflict? Oh, you must have just you must have seen it earlier today, huh? Is that one still in 360p? I uploaded that video three days ago. YouTube told me it was HD. Then when I released it, it, it downgraded it back to SD, and then it started processing again. So, if you wanted to wait for it to be in HD, it, it could be in HD now. It happens all the time where, well, not all the time, but often I'll upload a video, it'll process into HD, then when I release it, YouTube's like, oh, did you just upload this? I guess we'll start processing it again. So it could be anywhere from like an hour to like two hours to ten hours. We have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. Ma'am, you want me to build another chapel? All right. There, I'll build one there. Open TTD won't close TTD. We're going to play Open TTD tomorrow. Everybody's invited. Hundreds of people can play that game. Can't wait for the graphic bad game bad. It's going to be awesome. Everybody go to Steam. You can get a free game right now called Open TTD. The word open and then Tango Tango Delta. Or Trevor Trevor David. And you can download that and we can all play tomorrow. It's, it's like literally half of one tenth of a kilobyte. It's going to be cool. A couple other YouTubers I have subbed to uh, have been having upload problems. One could not upload new content for two days. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but... Uh, we're still working on that crown trade route, right? We're trading logs. Alright, let's cancel that one. 
We should be exporting logs, but... I guess that's all going to planks, so let's do some other stuff. Let's do... Oh, that's kind of cool. We don't get the, uh... The smuggling trades till after we build the, uh... Uh, the pirate thing. Okay, let's export rum again. And we'll just leave it at that. What's up, James? Open SimCity 2000? Yeah. Yeah, there was that um, co-op version of it. I want to play co-op Parkitect again. We get a lot of problems with that, though. We need one more revolutionary. They've been trying to attack this corn farm for like 25 years. All right, now we can go into the, the people of Tropical love you almost as much as I do, governor. We have such exquisite taste. Prepare for war, baby. Let's go. Feisty little colony, aren't we? We'll try not to crush your spirits too comprehensively. Okay, so we have 700 days to prepare. Alright, so we're going to be invaded in like 700 days. They'll try. They'll probably fail. Um. Yeah, that Pirate Cove is good. We've been bringing a lot of people. But I want to get rid of that music. It's driving me nuts. Alright, everything's open again. That's good. Pirates are on their way again. Governor, the people have a request. Before yeah, the tree's hiding the secret bridge. Alright, so we're supposed to build a tavern. Did you know that one time Slime Marble was facing off against five orcs at a time? He threw a grenade at them and killed them all. And then the grenade exploded. Wow. Wow. Finally, they've been defeated. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. All right, we need more revolutionaries to prepare for war. How's the housing going? It looks like we only had like two people homeless, but I have no idea where they are. But two is fine. 
And more people are showing up all the time, so we... We must be doing alright. Yeah, the pirates want that rum. They ain't getting it. Mm -mm. Hell to the no. As long as we keep around 200,000, we're good. Paper. We could start running the penny saver. I think we should get rid of this farm and put it over here. Plus, we could put it under the influence of the um, the manure spreaders. Oh, we'll do banana. Curved roads, woohoo. Hell no. Well, unfortunately, we can't do roundabouts in this game. Well, you could, but I don't think we can do one way roads, so we'd kind of be a little awkward. Alright, this opens up a bunch of space now for like high schools and whatever else. Let's research boats. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. She wants a fishing wharf, but we don't have enough. Oh, actually, yeah. It's grass again. Ah. 
More salsa is needed. Yeah, uh, one in the chat if your table needs uh, more chips and salsa. Complimentary. Let us know. We'll send around to the wait staff. Yeah, just a, just a one in the chat if you need uh, salsa or your tortilla chips refreshed. Oh, that's pretty. We've actually been holding it a really good amount of money. All right, we got a few homeless. So we got two corn farms, we got banana, and we got cattle. Lots of beef. the beef banana beef tacos yep the swedes sweet alert incoming swedes hubity scubity Pirate pirates. Now, let's just put pineapple here. That'll be pretty good. All right, construction crews got a lot to do. Trade route complete. I like how the crown is still trading with us. Even though they're invading us in 700 days, there's they have no problem taking our rum. Everybody wants Raptorian rum. It's like, hey, we need to invade you, but also keep those shipments coming. We'll gladly pay you to build, build up your military while we uh, buy your rum. Lol. Nobody likes chips without salsa? Hell yeah. I watch your videos so much. Anything I find, something good, my brain goes good. Good. Like you did when you played Evil Genius too. Oh yeah, that game was pretty good. Good. Yes, good. 
Chat, if you haven't already sent your member milestones, by the way, if you're a member in the chat, don't forget to, uh, you know, you can hit join or see perks or that little, like, weird square thing button, whatever. And, uh, send your member milestones if you want to ask a question, put an emote in the chat, or just celebrate another month of support and see how long you've been a member if you've forgotten. That'll let you know. Send those milestones, let's get them going, let's pump those numbers up. Hurry up before the pirates take your rum. You went to Applebee's last night by myself and ordered spinach dip and boneless wings. What a vibe. Wow. I didn't know you played high on life last night. That's cool. Christopher, thanks for the almost two years as a raptor egg. Kev, with the 26 months as a raptor egg. Thank you guys for your big O support. Member, welcome. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. New member, welcome. Okay, the invasion begins in. Oh boy! All right, we're getting there. About a hundred days. Hey, nobody's homeless. Good. We'll get fishing going. Bum, bum. You remember when you joined the channel, blue eye was especially rare. Now they're becoming even more common. Yeah, now the rare one is the 36 and 48 months, like the the silver back and the uh, gold gold back. I, I gotta come up with different eyes for those. May maybe we'll come up with different colors because it's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to have to come up with two new colors just so we can tell. Hmm. It's hard to tell the yellow, the gold and the silver blue eyes. We're going to have to come up with something. Maybe I'll just change it to the Poglad emote. Maybe I'll just make it an emote. Because that'll just be funny. And then people can be confused. Sir Doom, thanks for the 21 months as a Raptor Hatchling. Thank you very much for your support. Alright, we're being attacked by the Crown. The invasion finally begins. Those are the pirates. New member, welcome. British are around here somewhere. Change it to the sunglasses. Hmm. We will have to see. There's lots of attacks going on everywhere.
You want raptor heads instead of the eye? Mm, maybe. It might be a good idea because that'd be that'd be cool, but also you know, it's kind of small. Like the symbol is kind of small. Or like the emote or whatever. Yeah, we still have the orange sunglasses, yep. Where do I get the sunglasses? Uh, the orange ones were like... Uh, the orange ones came in like a... A loot crate box a million years ago. And these ones are like... Uh, a lot of them were just laying around. Use some of the emojis, yeah. I'll have to think of some new colors to use. Something. I'll have to come. I'll have to test some things to see how it looks. We want it to look good. Yeah, I got them at the uh, gas station from Gas Station Simulator. That's right. Are we like... We're being attacked, but like, where are they? Whatever. Gal, thank you very much for the 40 months as a raptor egg. 40. Wow. 40. The number is higher than that. It goes uh, 30... Remember, welcome. It goes 24, 36, 48 for the highest three tiers. exports. Woo. Almost a thousand rum too. That's gonna oh wow sixteen thousand we'll make from that. Not bad. Crocs with socks, thank you very much for the two months as a little raptor. An ace with the 31 months. Thank you very much for your 31 months as a raptor egg. When this battle is finally over, we won't have to deal with the uh, pirates anymore. Thank God. Thanks, John. Thanks for being here, man.
Have I started bl uh, planks into boats yet? No, not yet. I'm waiting for more citizens to move in. When we have some unemployed, then I'll be able to make that uh, production chain. Too many buildings with nobody operating them will kill us financially. There come the British. Oh boy. I hope we win. I don't know if it's going to happen. Holding out. I think we're going to win. Yep, we did. Well, I suppose you did rather well for a bunch of savages. Dubs in the chat, boys, and Raptoria flags. We did it. All right. Advance to World Wars. My heart swells with joy as I greet my fearless leader for the first time as El Presidente. Woo! All right, cool. You're listening to Canal Uno, the voice of Tropico, because El Presidente loves you all. It begins. Whew, approval is bad. Well, we could start fixing that with things like the church and the clinics and stuff.
We'll probably want to do a school soon. Let's build a clinic. And eh, maybe a couple will do. Nineteen percent approval. Oof. Yeah, we can export rum again. Now the game truly begins. Now we gotta worry about democracy. Uh, let's see, provides fun to Citizens and tourists, visitors must be well off or better. Okay. Oh. Some of the buildings look different. That's cool. Tropico 6 came out in 2019. Oh my god, did it really? It just feels so long ago. Ugh. Healthcare, that's number one. Luckily, we're building two clinics. Wow, 20,000 we made off one of those freighters. Alright, so we need a higher standing with the religious faction. Rockets, the newest threat raining death from the skies. The palace assures all its citizens that no country thinks Tropico is worth sending rockets against. Oh, that's good.
Yeah, the music in this game, or in these games, is pretty good. Pretty good. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Pizza. Yeah, we're running on the Pizza Party platform. Alright, so we got some doctors coming in. We're gonna build two clinics and then we've got um, uh, the church building too. Chat, you know what I just re uh, realized? Tomorrow, that's when uh, Games Done Quick begins, by the way. Tomorrow will be like a, well, starts a week long 24 7 for an entire week uh, charity marathon where people will basically speedrun. Old games, new games, beat them really fast, and raise money for things like cancer prevention and uh, Doctors need Without your Borders. Help, Presidente. It's all gone pear-shaped, and we need a steady hand on the tiller. Okay. Yo, chat, thanks for the hundo, the next hundo likes. Appreciate all the, uh, the support. Appreciate the support. Okay, we're doing a rum export deal right now. Cool. Uh, they might run Quake. I, I'm not sure. They have a whole schedule, though. They have, like, a little website with their schedule. I sometimes wonder about your final confession, Presidente. Complete the rescue raid. In any of them? I go for educated. It's the founder's last GDQ, by the way. Oh, uh. Yeah, what's his name? Did it in his mom's basement the first year. And probably for the first couple years. Wow. We have two clinics and they're completely full. I guess it makes sense. Nobody's had health care for ever, so. It's gonna be a line. Alright, let's see. Yeah, clinics were definitely a good call. I think I should build a third one if they're both full. Which direction? Quick, Presidente! We must choose a side in this terrible war before it ends! No! It is almost certain to be very short. Eh, we're gonna ally with America. And Great Britain. So that requires the embassy. We'll build the immigration office soon, too. Immigration. That's weird. Why does it only make the church blue?
Housing, uh, we're zeroed out on housing. We don't need any more yet. Cool. Let's see what else they want. I am sorry, not today, please. Healthcare, yeah. It's all coming down to healthcare, so we need a little bit of time for them to run through the clinics. Uh, one thing that always disappoints me with Tropico is the customization of the character and the places. Uh, we got less outfits since 3, and then we get to customize the palace, and it's eh. Oh, right. Yeah, you can customize the palace in El Presidente now. To which you never really get to see El Presidente unless you directly, like, select him. Doesn't really... He never really leaves unless you tell him to go somewhere. And the palace decorations, yeah, they're better with all the DLCs, but it, yeah, it's kind of like a meme. You never really get to design it. Palace looks nice, though. Actually, you, oh wait, you can customize like the colors and stuff. There is like a, like a designer before the game, but oh yeah, I like that. Can I get, like, rid of these weird spires? Barricaded windows? What is it, a spirit Halloween? Let's go with those. That looks nicer. Run down, pompous stucco. Oh damn, you can build like a fortified wall. Let's go with Victorian. Wait, what was that monkey what now? The hell? A monkey bin. Oh, mo money bin, money bin now. Yeah, I just want it to look nice. I don't want memes. Gazebo, see, uh, I don't know. Can I go with gazebo and fountain? Flamingo. Now I'm fully stun locked. Oh, that's nice. There, that. Oh, that's a combo of all three the hedge maze, the fountain, and the gazebo. Oh, that's sweet. Alright. And then let's do. Ooh, a what? A weirdwood tree? Some sort of a cannon? Apparently I can build, <laughs> build a rocket to Mars, a meteorite. Ah, let's just go with the cherry tree. A gift from Japan. Yeah, that's nice. 
Oh, yeah. Approval's going up. We went from 22 to 40. A lot of people are going to the doctor. Did I finish that rescue mission for the lady? Oh, we're on it now. Okay. Oh, that's good. We're rescuing doctors, so now we're getting... We went from like 22 to 42, so that's plus 20. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there's like there's like two or three serious options, but it looks like most of them are tied to completing like they seem to be tied to completing like other campaigns. God no. Can I not put something here? Yeah, they all seem like they're tied to the, uh, like completing other campaigns and stuff, or other DLC campaigns. I feel like Tropico 4 and 5 were a little more serious. Uh, I felt like they were, um, they tried to do campaign. I, I remember in the 2008 recession in the United States, when the Tropico around 2008 came out, they had a couple of missions that were all about, like, you started with a ton of money and some factories and stuff, and then they just took all your money, and you kind of had to be self sufficient for a while during the, uh, Recession, as they called it. And it was quite a challenging mission. Because your exports were minimal. People weren't really buying much. Um, Alright, now the military is mad and the religion is mad. Could build an army base, maybe? I don't think we should build any more towers. You're Let's do... Well, the commando garrison, I don't know if that affects it. But well, let's just build the garrison. Yeah, we'll choose an alliance now. America. Can I join the Rebel Alliance? Oh, it's here. You have to do it. Presidente, there is a flaw in our military machine. We do not have enough of the things that I want. 
Yeah, yeah. Everyone has to do their bit for the war effort, old sports. I don't care a thruppany bit who you might be. Oh, we're building the garrison now. Sabotage the axis. Okay. All right, Winston, we'll do it. Now, next is... Teamster's office. Bum, bum, bum. Oh yeah, I should start building boats. They make some pretty good money, too. Alright, let's see. I think we'll build another Teamster's office, like, way up here. Must be getting close to getting that rum shipment done. Oh no. No, we're not. Well, it'll take a while though. Import baconators. 80% efficiency. Not bad. How are we doing on unemployed? Nobody unemployed, okay. And still lots of people going to the doctor. Let me be. All right, now people want a little bit more fun. Let's open up a Google Trust and Safety Department. Right in the center of town. Fourteen thousand. Superpower Alliance. Oh, we need a request alliance. In a hard-hitting expose, Canal Uno exposes the truth about the commandos. They do wear underwear. Ooh. It is unwise to go to war without it. Going commando. All right, so at 81, we can request an alliance with the allies. Complete the rescue raid. We're on that. Teamster is good. And, oh, sabotage. Sabotage the Nazis. And complete an allied trade. What the hell's that? I've never seen that before. Is that the commandos? Wait a minute. The best defense is a good offense, Presidente. But as yet, I am only moderately offensive. Wait, is that like James Bond coming in? With the octopusy logo on the side? Or the, uh... What's the name of it, actually? The, um... 
whatever the name of that organization is. Hydra, yeah. No, not Hydra. Spectre, or Spectre, yeah. I don't think that's their logo, though. Well, it's close. Wow, approval went up to almost 60% there, damn. People apparently like healthcare. Wow. Like I'm being watched. They love not dying. Oh man, we need to get you emergency 911 healthcare. Religion is magic again. Raid finishing in two months. Okay. A good deed, Presidente. Performed, no doubt, with absolutely no thought of reward. Yeah. Rude. That looks nice. Um, Oh, well, at least we got good approval ratings. That reminds me of that one game we played, uh, Circus, um... Circus Electric, that was cool. The palace declares that we are definitely winning the war. Keep listening to find out which side we are currently on. Currently, yeah. Uh, what was Dr. Claw's organization and Inspector Gadget? Yeah, that was MAD. M-A-D. Bro, D Dr. Claw hired like four, three or four dudes to like steal the Mona Lisa or something. Ima imagine that. Imagine just that's your criminal. It's like, hey, um... Let's hollow out one of the pyramids and we're gonna steal the Sphinx. We're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of Chinook helicopters. But in order to like to monitor it, we need to hollow out this uh this pyramid. So I can monitor the situation. Well, M-A-D-D -D is Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Which is also another good organization. We need a school. Well, we'll, we'll build what they want when they want it. I like how this game doesn't have a day-night cycle. It kind of just gets a little... Like, the sun kind of goes down every once in a while, and you get what it looks like for an evening, but... This game does a good day-night cycle. Because sometimes city builders, when it goes completely dark and you can't see anything, it's... It's too hard to play.
Yeah, Brain was the unsung hero of Inspector Gadget, yeah. Can I help you? I guess building that circus was fantastic. The circus is closed, but the clowns remain. Somebody in chat's name is Ancient Clown. Uh huh. I feel like I could just say a random name in chat, and the person with that name would just be in the chat. Like, Paging Anthony. Anthony to chat. If your name is Anthony, put a one in the chat, please. It's got to be in your username, though. Anthony, if you can hear the sound of my voice, one in chat, please. We know you're watching. There's somebody in chat whose name is Ant, so I would imagine. There you go. It's confirmed. Antonio? Yeah, any version of Anthony, Antonio, um, Antony. Is this better than City Skylines? Uh, this is more on like a national scale and has a lot more to do with resources. But no, I, I'd say Tropico and City Skylines are both fantastic. Tropico been around a long time. I'm glad that they've made so many games because like... Good job there, Presidente. Thanks awfully. Hey, I'll say this about war. It keeps us busy with exciting adventures, hey? If they didn't make a new Tropico 6, I'd probably be still playing 5. Like, every once in a while, I'd come back to Tropico 5 and play it. Although, I don't know where I have it. I know I've played it before, and I can't remember where I played it. I didn't have it on Steam, and I know I didn't have it. Maybe I borrowed a, somebody's CD or something from a friend. No, I don't. I must, I must own it. Because I own one, and I must have owned five, too. Anthony, but go by Tony. Well, there you go. See? Alright, uh, let's get a random blueprint. Barracks. Okay. Why, well, of course. The bear. The barracks. Yeah. Uh, we got a ways to go, but we're getting there. Let's take a look at uh, fertility. It's been a while. Okay, numbers look good. Remember the story of the man who built his house on a foundation of sand, Presidente? What? Another circus? Probably not a bad idea.
I love hearing that. I love that. Uh, you know what makes me angry at the tropics? Oh, you mean tropical? Get to modern times, everything you do is bad. People's approval always goes down until you lose. Yeah, that's the real challenge, is that you'll have all, all different types of people to, to satisfy. They want uh, freedoms, and they want good paying jobs and families, and... Right about now, it's basically just <laughs> clinics and churches and circuses. My favorite Milton Bradley game. A good deed, Presidente. Performed, no doubt, with absolutely no thought of reward. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, let's see. Let's get more massive amounts of workers. I want to build more sugar plantations. But I need people to do it. Crocodile by default just exports leather. That's cool. Got to get more people first, though. What's up, Michael? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it says here, though, for the cabaret and the opera house, people have to be well-off or better or rich or better. Most, most of our people are poor. For now. That's why I was going with the circuses. Uh, we're in the World Wars period. 1918. ally with the um, uh, Americans and the British. Everyone has to do their bit for the war effort, old sports. I don't care a thruppenny bit who you might be. Okay. Finish five sabotage missions. You got it. Cool. I guess we gotta prove that we're loyal so we got to go blow up four nazi train lines or something
Pam 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 pam. Population almost to 300. Why don't I just build loads of apartments? Uh, we don't need any more housing. We have nobody, nobody homeless. And we have 52 vacant homes, so our population go up quite a bit. Till we need to build new ones. We're good. We got breathing room. Wow, approval rating is at 80%. How do you attract more population? Well, we could build an immigration office, I suppose. I'm glad you asked that, because I had forgotten about that. So we'll do that now. All right, cool. So we got raids going. Those two will be taking care of the trade routes we're working on. We need more sugar, though. Suppose I could import sugar. About 5,700. That's fine. We'll convert that to rum and make up the money from the contract and extra sales anyway. Import a good and convert it to something better. Damn, this music's nice, chat. This game's nice. 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 Alright, um, Rebel Threat Low, allies really like us. Balance in the last 12 months. Wow, we lost a little money. That's fine, we've been building stuff like crazy. Bum, 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 bum. That beat just hits different, man. Do I give this a 69 out of 69 for this game? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I like Tropico quite a bit. There we go. <laughs> Cable got tangled. All right, let's see. More palm trees are needed. We got quite a few. They look pretty. Population's almost 300. Ooh, look at all those exports, man. Once we get more people, I also want to do a boat factory so we can make more money out of those planks. We should make Morge.
I got the drip going. Bum, 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 bum. Damn, people love going to that circus. My flock are blessed with faith, hope, and charity. And I hope I can have faith in your charity, Presidente. Man, that's gonna be a no. That's gonna be a big N-O, ma'am. Provides high school education to uneducated citizens. Don't really know if we need... I don't know if the high school makes them more efficient. If you have somebody who's educated working in a job that takes non-education, does that make them more productive or is it just... I think you only need certain... Uh, like certain job qualifications, right? No, I haven't built a school yet, but I'm not sure if I should. To any new tropicans fresh from the immigration office. Not many people can get past the 50th round of testing. Like only the clinic and like the immigration office needed needed workers. It probably wouldn't hurt to start educating people now, though. Look at how beautiful that city block fits in. That's nice, man. Beautiful. We're losing money though. Yep. So only a thousand bucks though over a year. That's nothing. Oh, uh, we have a library, yeah. I guess it's probably we were losing money on the sugar imports. But we're able to put out almost a thousand rums, so that's good. By the time that boat gets here. We can also add additional shifts to these uh, Teamsters now. Okay, we gotta keep sabotaging the Germans. Sabotage. Alright, now we got some homeless. Cool. Wait, we have 36 vacant homes. We have 36 spots for houses. For people.
Wow. School's going, nice. Yeah, the city-state's doing well. Now, all we're really doing is just exporting, like, rum and leather. <laughs> We're not doing much yet in terms of, like, production or exports. We haven't gotten too crazy into that just yet. I want to do textiles next, but... Uh, what's your plan for the channel in the next few months? Um, I want to start making some more YouTube shorts to make them... Um, so YouTube's backed away from, like, notification and stuff for streaming and for videos in general. So I'm going to start weaponizing YouTube shorts against them. Because they really want to pro they really want to promote those shorts, so good. Then I'm going to start using the shorts as a way to let people know we're live or uploaded a video or something. But it'll be done in a way that's interesting. So I'm, I'm going to use jujitsu on the shorts, and then stream a lot more with my friends. I've really been enjoying streaming with everybody this year, end of last year, and this year so far. Help other channels to grow and try to share information and be really transparent about stuff for people who are wanting to grow their channels, and then uh, play a ton of new games that are coming out this year. And now, a message from and El Presidente. Buy war bonds. They help us win the war, and you can win fabulous prizes. And, um... I lost my train of thought now. Uh... Oh yeah, I wanted to start making uh, top 10 videos on the channel as well. And uh, instead of just covering like every individual game and making a video on that, I think maybe every, um, you know, now that we're at the beginning of the year, I could make a top 10 videos that I'm excited about for this year. So like, or not top 10, but like top 5 to top 10 RTSs that'll come out this year, like Company Heroes and Broken Arrow and stuff like that. Uh, when streams are as often as regular as you, don't uh, are notifications really that important? Yes, because YouTube will promote the uh, YouTube will promote the shorts because they want to grow. YouTube hates TikTok for being better than them, so they've created shorts as a TikTok recycling center, and in order to try to sh basically promote that to the um, to the investors and to the corporations, they're going to say, yeah, yeah, five trillion people watched shorts this year. Yeah. The algorithm's going to promote shorts more than live streams because that's their agenda right now. That's their business model. So I'm going to then use the shorts to try to use that to attract more people to the streams and the community in general. Weaponizing. It's a weapons development department. It's our weapons factory Remember, chat right there. Welcome. We're going to weaponize it. So if their agenda is shorts, then my agenda will be, yeah, shorts. Anyway, forget the shorts. Listen, come watch the stream. It's like, oh no, he's giving away uh, stuff. Uh, ad hasn't played every 30 seconds. Reep. Anyway, what was I going to build? Oh yeah, the fire station. Bum, 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 dum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. We always end up down this rabbit hole, true. But people My keep flock asking. Are with faith, hope, and charity. And I hope I can have faith in your charity. Presidente. But the only reason I complain about shorts and stuff is because I care. But really, like, you know, if you think about it, Twitch is only just live streams. TikTok is only just, like, short form videos and, like, kind of live streams and some other weird stuff. But YouTube has got a lot of stuff going on. Like, people always wonder, like, you know, you put out a video and it doesn't have 46 trillion views and someone will be like, dude, this has been out seven minutes and it's only got a billion views. Dude, you should have 10 billion views. And it's like, bro, there are 
community posts, there are live streams, there are videos, there are YouTube shorts. I mean, yeah. But definitely don't subscribe to my secret channel at the top of chat, though. Make sure you guys don't do that. Why is the religious faction wanting me to build a customs? What a weird thing for Jesus to want. Bum, 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 bum. Any cool that you're looking forward to? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a video on that. Honestly, you guys keep asking some really great questions, and I think the easiest way to answer that is like I'm. I'm gonna have to put out some videos. Like, I'm seriously going to want to, like, put out some videos just saying here are the games that I'm looking forward to this year. Here are the games that I'm gonna play this year. Here are some games that might be coming out this year. I think doing like a top 10 in no particular order, just raising awareness of these games coming out is good. Because you guys are going to ask me anyway if I'm going to play it. So it's like, it's good for two reasons. Like one, it confirms that I'm going to play a game. And two, it could get people to know about it. And then when it does come out, like we'll cover it on the channel. Like Manor Lords or something. And I've been wanting to... Uh, do a top 10 thing for a while, but I I didn't want to do it uh, where I just basically um, like it's not just going to be trailers just with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way to 10 I want to talk over it too and just you know we'll see but as always, exclamation point schedule check the description All right, so we're building the customs office. Yep, all right, everything's going well. Each raid takes six months, geez. Wars have been fought and won in that time. Alright, what else do people want? You look kind of familiar. Maybe better housing? The only people in our town that might be well off would be like people with the Oh, yeah, it'd be the people working... Concerned about foreign trade, putting you up? I knew I could count on you to do the right thing. Eventually. And for a price. Alright, let's upgrade these homes. Eh, we're more like gonna move them. Nothing is free, lady. Incorrect. You, viewer, watching right now, who can hear my voice, the like button for today only will shoot off fireworks and confetti if you hit it while you're watching on mobile. I've hacked deep, deep, deep into the YouTube algorithm. And I've placed fireworks and confetti in on the like button. Don't, don't believe me? Go ahead and try. Go for it. Oh, there it went.
And there it goes. Oh, there is a relocate button. Cool. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. We need to make money. 18,000? That's not going to cut it. These are rookie numbers. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Approval's pretty good. Yeah, we have a fire station. They've been uh, putting out the fire for a long time. some more money. Twenty-three unemployed. Okay, that's actually good. Now we can start with a new industry. Rum's good, but that ain't gonna last forever. Let's do the boats. This will use planks to make uh boats for export. Wow, that house filled up. Two out of four raids complete. Yeah, we could build more Teamsters offices, but what we could do is just add a second shift for 2,500 to each of them, which allows us to get more people. Um, but I don't think... It's not about logistics at this point. I think it's about... Airplanes like, have revolutionized warfare, yet Tropico still has no air force. An official palace statement says, learn to fly one, then we will get planes. We need to export more advanced goods, so things like... Uh, we're just exporting, like, rum and leather, so we got to step up. Bum, bum. You love watching the stream? So well, thanks, man. Thanks for watching. The boats will get us some money. Oh, I didn't even have a dunder still on that other one. Well, we could start doing power. It would create 360 megawatts. Presidente, there is a flaw in... 
All right, I'll build a barracks. Uh, doesn't the up uh, the I think just building the customs office increases export. Yeah, by default it raises export prices. Alright, cool. So now we're making boats. Awesome. Yeah, we could start mining. Not sure how many buildings we can actually up... Only the distilleries, I think. Have electricity, let's see. Okay, we can also increase the lumber mill. Alright, there we go. Presidente, your aid is appreciated. With your help, we'll double our armed forces, redouble our efforts, and halve our expectations. Good. Yeah, we can build more than one mine on the same spot. We're just making our decisions based on the situation at hand. All right, we're making about 15, 16, same as before. These are all basic things though, like rum and leather are really the only things gonna make extra money, but now we're starting to do boats. Oh, we finally did the uh, trade route with the allies. No, that was the sugar import. Oh, rum's almost there. Oh, we got a lot of sugar. Good, good. Yeah, we're minding the mines right now. Mind over matter, chat. Bum, 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 bum. There goes the mine. All right, power plant. Now yeah, let's not expand too quickly. 
It's pretty easy to get carried away with spending money in this game on cool stuff. Wow, with just 249 boats there. There goes the rum. Wow, good. I think we'll add a second shift in town. Get more stuff sent out to the docks. I regret to report that some foul blight has blown in on our otherwise fair winds. Oh, but do not worry. It is not your relatives. That's fine. Well, luckily we have a lot of sugar saved up at the docks, don't we? No, but there's plenty in the rum distillery, so that's good. Okay. Oh, we only got to do one more sabotage. Excellent. We're going to win this war, boys. Good show. Not bad at all. Almost worthy of an Englishman, I'd say. Although, let's not get carried away. Breaking news. The oh, very good show. Nice islands you have there. I certainly hope, oh, sorry, guarantee that they'll survive the war. If the alliance is broken, you'll instantly be invaded by the opposing superpower and lose the game. The game? Got him. Everybody in chat just lost. Wow. Get wrecked, chat. Got him. You all got wrecked. Get wrecked, chat. Alright, let's do some more exports. But it's got to be with the allies. Well, we can export coal now. Coal... Corn. Yeah, we'll do a couple at a time. Wow. Pizza rolls! Yeah! Yo, Brendan, thanks for the five, dude. Thank you very much for the support. This game looks cool. It I is. I just prefer a city slash town builder with a more personal touch with the NPCs. Know any games like that? By the way, is game easy? Uh, this game could be easy or hard based on your settings. There, There is a pretty big amount of like things that you can modify when you play. So there's lots of maps, and then there's lots of things that you can turn up and down for difficulty. So it can, it's it, it's pretty easy or very hard, depending on how you set things. Uh, as, as for a city builder with a personal touch, um, Manor Lords will be coming soon, but I mean, let's talk about games that are available now. You know, Austri, Foundation. Actually, you know, Foundation is a medieval town slash city builder that allows you to build your very own... Um, basically like big buildings like you can design your own cathedral you can design your own manor you can design your own um, monastery and bridges and like defenses and things like that although the defenses don't really work at the moment you can build offensively and like attack other people with the king the and citizens are demanding elections president they it seems that they want the choice in how they are ruled timberborn's pretty good um 
But yeah, for modern city builders like City Skylines and also Workers and Resources Soviet Republic is really crazy, like, cool with the realism mode. That's a good one. Alright, let's go ahead and try to improve. I don't think we need to deliver a speech, do we? Can't back out. All right, that's fine. We'll just make nicer houses. People of Tropico, it is I, your Presidente. You have showed your faith in me, and that faith will be rewarded. Every Tropican will get what they deserve. And what of my people? I feel your pain when your walls shudder and your roofs leak. Those of you who have roofs. Basun, roofs for all, and walls for many. Our ongoing prosperity is supported by the capitalists, with thanks. We're grateful for the many fulfilling jobs you create for my people, and your progressive attitudes towards taxation. Just as we praise our friends, so we condemn our enemies. The Axis wishes to remake the world over my mildly unsettled body. What? Presidente, the workers have a request. They wish not to work, but that is impossible. So, they also have a backup request. Okay. They want another fire station? Oh, there we go. Now we're getting close to like 25,000. That's what I want to be making. There's a chance it could happen before the boat pulls in. There it goes. 23,000. Closer. could be invaded at any time. Keep your survival kit on hand. In the event of panic, breathe into the paper bag. All right, let's take a look. Uh, a few homeless, not too bad. That's easy to solve. I think we can do that. Yeah, El Presidente, what a character, huh? Good voice actor for him, too. It's a good show. Also, I had to delete a tavern. Let's rebuild that. Build a tavern there, and... There. 
All right, very good. All right, this town's actually actually good town. It's actually good. It's actually good. Cool. All right, guys, we're going to play some more Tropico sometime in the future and continue on with this save because this is going actually good. I'll see you all in 30 minutes for the next Big O stream on the channel. Hope to see you all there. Please do leave a like on the way out so more people can find out about Tropico and so I know that you would like to see more as well. So thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for liking the content. And thanks for all your support. I'll see you all in a half hour for the next Big O stream with the boys. Having some fun surviving in space after this. Thanks again for watching, folks. We'll see you soon. Very soon. Soon. Soon.